So let's now start our journey of object oriented programming in Python. From this episode, I'm going to start these topics related to object oriented programming like classes, object, inheritance, static methods and much more things and each episode focused on a single topic. So we are going to start with the classes in Python. This is very good to have a functionality having the similar functions in a group called classes and in that way if we create a classes this will be a very good idea because we can reuse our code and we can structure our project very easily with the use of classes so let's now see how we can create a class in python to create a class we just need to use this class keyword and then followed by the name of the class let's say the name is book you can have a name with a single word or you can have the multiple word name like my book and keep this in mind this is a good practice to have a camel cased system for your class name you can also use this underscore for class name like my book this is also good and it is going to work but yeah it, you can see even PyCharm is saying that you should use the camel case system so why not use this camel case system like this so in a class if you don't want to do anything you just need to say pass and this pass means python c and python say okay i don't need to do anything here so let's just pass from here so if i say print of my book and to call this class I need to use this parenthesis after the name of the class and if I run it it says yeah this main function has my book object at this pointer or this location that's good and obviously you don't want your class to do nothing because why you have created that class so let's say I'm defining a variable inside a class like name name of the book let's say ignited minds so this is the name of the book i have given for my class so how we can show this name so like here we have called the my book do i need to say my book dot name this is going to work let's try oh yeah it's going to work but this is not a good thing you know why we just need to create the object of this class or the instance of this class. So I will say book one is equal to my book. Okay. So this way we can replace this from book one dot name and yeah, the same result. One thing more you can do if you remove this parenthesis then also it's going to work if you don't know what is the difference between instance object and class check out the link in the description for the video where i have detailed explanation of what is class what is object and what are the relation between them and for just now you just think about the class as the blueprint or a skeleton of your object so if you, if I say apple is a class so a red apple is an object of apple class a green apple again is an object of that apple class so this is very nice we have defined the variable inside my book class but whenever you define a variable inside a class we call it attribute instead of simply variable so what I'm thinking is that if I have a variable and I can use the variable inside the class, can I use a function inside a class? So if I create a function called set name, this is going to work or not? Let's just see. So we have done this, but as soon as I created the parenthesis, the PyCharm has done something. You can see we have self here and what that mean okay we will see this but uh, let's first see what it's going to do so let's just return hello for now and see its magic so we know to call a function or call anything from this class we need to call whatever we want to call so we have called here the attribute or variable now we need to call the function so let's just leave it empty and run so if i run it hmm 
It says some error. It says missing argument self. We have not defined any self here. So self, if I give here, mm -hmm, no, <laughs> there is no self variable. So what we need to do, actually, uh, now we need to use this parenthesis. And if I run this time, yeah, we are getting hello. But wait, why this is working with parenthesis, but why not without parenthesis? Okay, so see, whenever you are using parenthesis, then this book one is actually the object of this class. But if you're not using any parenthesis, it's just the renaming and using the same class. We are not creating any, uh, what we can say, any object. Then we are, if we are trying to use this set name, we cannot use because now we need to define which object is going to use this class. So you can see this self is actually whatever is the object. So let's now see another thing. If I say book two is again my book instance and again I'm using this parenthesis which define that yeah it's going to create an instance or the object of my book class. So I have this then I will copy this paste it here and I will say book to set name and now what I'm going to do I'm going to accept the name from the user and then I will say self dot name is equal to whatever the name user has given so first thing first I will say book one dot set name and now inside parenthesis we are going to provide ignited minds then same thing for book two but this time the book name is the magic of thinking big hmm, good so let's call the names for here so book one dot name and book two dot name so we have three steps here one step we are creating two instances then for each instances we are setting the name of the book via this method or function and then we are printing the name what whatever we have set so let's run it and yes you can see the name are different okay so what i'm getting from this experiment is that it always get the self if we are creating an object so here we have created the object so whenever we are calling this function it automatically pass the self that means the instance or the object and the second parameter we need to pass is actually the parameter whatever we are going to pass so just like the variable called attributes here the function is called as a methods so methods are functions or variables are attribute for a class so this is the class we have created and we have created a function inside the class and now at the starting of this video i have told you that the class are useful for reusability but here you can see we are repeating the step two times for every time we create an instance we are going to set the name of the class so why not do one thing which just initialize the name as we initialize the object so if you're not getting this let's see in action so i'm going to create a function which is called init so this is a init function it's just like a constructor if you are familiar with any other languages or if you are not familiar with any language think about in it as a function which doesn't need to call as you initialize the object or as you create the object this function automatically get called so let's now see what we are going to have here if i say print hello so you can see I'm just printing hello whenever I create the object. So I'm going to comment these two print statements and try to run this class. And you can see 
two hello are there. Why two? Because we are creating the two instances or two object. So if I comment one of these and try to run it, okay, this is giving error because of this. So if I run it, yeah, we are getting only one. So now what I'm trying to do here, yes, this is automatically get called. So why not to get the name of the book from here? So instead of passing this name in the set name function, I will pass name of the book inside the class itself. So because this is the value of the name, so we can simply set self dot name is equal to name and that's it. So let's say name is initially empty string and then we are setting these name. So let's now print the names and because we are not using this set name, let's see what will be the result. So if I run it, yes, you can see without using this set name, just by the use of this init function, we have set the name of the book by reducing the two steps. So now we don't need this function anymore, but if we want to set even after that, yes, you can set the name also once more. So this is all about classes and how you can use the classes, what is the object and what are the different between the creating an object and just using the class. So in the next episode, we will move forward in the object oriented programming system in Python. If you have liked this episode, Please, please, please share these videos with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of Python and object oriented system in the Python. So don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode till then. Goodbye.